So Mac users have been stuck using third-party capture solutions for years, until now. Elgato just released their very own capture software called Elgato Studio. Here's how to set it up and use every feature. What's going on, you wonderful people? I'm Brandon, and welcome to Creighton TV. Elgato Studio is a recording software that allows you to record your gameplays from your console or your mobile device with the required capture card that you have. That way you don't have to open up OBS, Streamlabs, Mel Studio, all in one. You can just record your gameplays in the highest quality using Elgato Studio. Now, if you want to use your mobile phone and it has a lightning cable like the iPhone 14 and below, you will need a lightning the UVA adapter. And if you want to use the iPhone 15 or Android phone with USB-C or your iPad with USB-C, you will need the USB-C AV adapter, which also does come with the HDMI port also. So I'll leave both of these down in the description box down below to be able to download the Elgato Studio for your Mac OS or your PC software. You wanna to go to the link down in the description box down below. If you're using PC, click on Windows for your filter system, scroll down, download the Elgato Studio that's right here for my Mac users. Also make sure your filter system set to Mac, scroll down, download Elgato Studio. It is compatible with the HD60S Plus Game Capture Neo is this capture card right here. It's also compatible with the HD60X, the 4KX, and Elgato's brand new 4KS capture card. So if you want to know more about the 4KS capture card, let me know in the comment section down below. If you buy any of the capture cards from Elgato's website, which is the HD60X, the 4KX, the 4KS, the 4K Pro, even the Game Catcher Neo, you will get a one month free of Discord Nitro. Also, purchasing the Elgato HD60X, 4KX, 4KS, or the 4K Pro will get you a free Elgato Chatlink Pro Cable you can add to your order. So you won't have to pay for this if you purchase it from Elgato's website. Here's what it looks like when you open it up. So the setup process is real easy. I'll show it over the screen. So, all right, the first demonstration I am doing right now is with the Elgato Game Capture Neo capture card. I am using the PS4, just wanted to let you know that it is working. With the Game Capture Neo, you can just plug it into the HDMI in port, plug in the USB-C into your Mac or your P Windows PC computer. There's the little latency. You can tell if there is any latency. PS5, see right now where we're running running a 4KX capture card with the PS5, show you where everything is, the microphone. So audio is coming through, as you see on the capture card, it is bouncing in the audio meteors. And it'll probably bounce even louder if I unplug my SteelSeries headset. Let's go over everything real quick to show you where everything is with Elgato Studio. So you got your traffic lights, if you wanna make it bigger right here. Elgato 4KX at the top. You do got your device info. So if there was an update, it'll show up right here. So you're going through your settings. You got general for personalization to change the color from dark light or however your system is, who light looks like. Updates, if you want to be able to update the software, you just check for updates right here. Your devices, 4KX, and you know the serial number. Recordings. So your recording formats, change it to how you want, 1080p, 1440p. For your, your recording path. So if you want to have it to go see a photo library on your Mac or on your Windows PC to wherever your photos go, you can. But me, I set up custom. It does have the file name. So the file name prefix, you can change it to whatever you want. And then the formatting will be date and time or you can do, and then you have the help. Checking out some other stuff. So right in the top right corner, you do have your other settings if you want to change them right here. So if you turn it on, you can choose custom and then you can do all these. You got, you have your audio input, which right now it's on analog audio. You can change it 
to analog audio. If you use analog audio, you got to plug in your Elgato Chatlink Pro cable. So that's if you want to use that. Me, I would set it to HDMI if I wasn't using no headphones. That way you get the full audio coming. As you can see, it's coming through right here on the, on the um, meters at the top. You got your audio gain. If you put on HDMI audio, there's no audio gain. So down here is the volume. So if you want to speak and stuff like that, if you want to commentary over your game, recorded gameplay, you can turn that off. This is for your screenshots. This is a, just in case you want to, you know, set up a thumbnail and you, you know, struggling to get that, you know, that fire picture. Well, this, is, this is normally what I would do. I would come to a game if I had it downloaded on here and then I'll view game. And then I normally just come over here and then bam, now you got your screenshot for your thumbnail or whatever you want to do. You also have the record button next to it. And then you have your file structure wherever you want it to uh, save when it goes to your computer and all the other stuff. Why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in goodness mercy? What say you? So that's how you use Elgato Studio on Mac OS, from the basic setup to the advanced features. If this tutorial was able to help you get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you are new. If you want to learn more tutorials on how to set up your streaming software on Mac OS, check out this playlist right here. Thanks for watching and God bless. <laughs>